This is an update on the foals that I adopted from Last Chance Corral back in June of 2016. Justice and Presto have settled in nicely, and by the time this video picks up, I'm past all the mixing of milk and feeding of little milky faces. At this point, the video picks up in July, and as you can see, they're pretty much normal. Well, they're super friendly. But at this point, they've been out in the pasture together. They've been out in the pasture alone. And then here soon, I went ahead and turned them out for the first time with an adult horse. When I picked the foals up, Last Chance Corral, the rescue that I got them from, <laughs> recommended that the foals hey were several months old and that you Hang found out. an older, preferably real gentle, maybe even not quite sound horse to turn them out with so that it would be very low risk for the foals. <laughs> As you can see, I've found one here that belongs to a friend and he's a 20 plus year old retired thoroughbred who's not quite sound as you'll see in a minute when he trots off and so he was the perfect babysitter horse uh oh they're like whoa it runs if you go back and look you can see videos where i've turned them out in pastures that neighbored other horses so they have visited with adult horses over the fence but this is the first time they've been turned out in the same pasture where they could have as much or as little contact as they wanted to. Can I have a conversation about it? I'm going to leave this segment of the film video unedited because I think it's just interesting to watch them look at each other and look at the older horse and just watch the body language that's going on. I think it's funny how they keep putting their heads together. Like, are you seeing this? <laughs> He's like, I didn't sign up to be a babysitter. How did this happen? It's interesting to me to keep in mind that Justice, when he's the one with more white on his face, was allowed to be with his mother for a few weeks where little Presto was only with his mom for just three days. So it's interesting that I wonder how much that affects their behavior out here.
The footage isn't super exciting to watch, which in my mind is actually a win situation because I didn't really want a lot of excitement or stress with the first horses they were turned out with. Presto and Justice were turned out several more times with this horse before we moved on to some younger, more sound, still safe, but more exciting horses. We left the halters on in case we needed to get in there and catch the adult horses quickly. We don't normally turn them out with halters on, but that's why we did today. Lucy wasn't very impressed with Presto's idea of nursing on her, and she's very safe. She actually doesn't really, she's never kicked and left a mark on a horse. She's not aggressive, but she definitely squealed and made a quick motion to scare him away. <laughs> Look at Justice, he's like, um, people? <laughs> we need a little help out here. There seem to be crazy horses in the pasture. <laughs> You'll also notice that these two mares are a lot younger, a lot more sound, and a lot more playful, and that kind of leaves the foals a little bit surprised. to cause trouble. <laughs> I think the importance of this video clip is realizing how important it is to know the horses that you're going to turn the foals out with because they don't have a mother to protect them or to slow down the other horses so I really knew these mares and these foals and mares both knew the fence line really well and although these two mares are playing and they bring up a lot of energy in the pasture they're not actually chasing the foals, although at moments the foals aren't quite sure of that. You can see how easy it would be for somebody to end up going out, of, out through a fence if you were in the wrong situation. If we had thought that these mares were chasing the foals versus just running for their own fun, then we would have stepped in and these two are well trained enough that we would have been able to easily catch them. But if you watch, they're really just running around the field and they do happen to swoop by the foals, but they don't show any intent, pinning ears, or really locking onto the foals. They're just running big loops and the foals happen to be out there too. It did eventually settle down but I thought I'd leave all that exciting footage in because it's kind of fun to watch them all run. I have a lot of footage like this where everything's pretty quiet, but it's not quite as entertaining as that initial running was. The foals would actually go out and run those big laps too, even before the adult horses were introduced.
keep putting strangers out here. It was important to me that the foals would be able to meet a lot of different horses and get different experience because I knew eventually I would be weaning them from each other. And I've found that it's easier to wean foals, even if they are on their mother's side, if they've been accustomed to being in with a lot of different horses. It just makes for an easier transition. As you can see, they've settled down and they're hanging out all mixed in with the group. Next up for their training was beginning to haul them in the horse trailer. We had been staying in our motor home at a friend's house and that's where that big pasture was. But we were in the process in 2016 of building a new home and a new barn. So I began occasionally loading the foals up and hauling them down. They'd go spend an overnight down here with us and then I'd haul them back. So it gave them lots of opportunity to get accustomed to hauling without the stress of any major life change. That's something that I would have normally done with any of my foals, but especially because I knew that I had one particular trip that was coming up. So if you go back and you watch some of the earlier blogs and videos, You'll remember that when I went to Last Chance Corral, I had planned on adopting one foal, but Little Presto had been so sick and weak they wanted me to take two, and I can totally see why. But my plan had always been to try to find Justice a great home, and so I'm really happy to announce that I did. As you can see, he went to Asbury University, and they have a police horse training program there, and that will be Justice's future career. And here he is hanging out in the pasture with some of his new friends. Which leaves the question, where's Presto and what's he doing? I still intend on keeping Presto for as long as I can see. I'd like to get him started under saddle and ride him and I'll haul him around with me. And you can see that he's found quite a bit of entertainment in our new barn. We have a round pen set up so it's got nice footing. And he really enjoys playing with the ball and playing with the other horses and just having a good time. That's popcorn in the background there. And he enjoys me.